Hello fellow GP, this is Catching Fire 3 with some more um Lego Indiana Jones 2 finally and now I don't have to worry about um my camera dying and whatnot like I did before because I am using an emulator for this. And yes, it is quite a bit slow, but that's because it's on an emulator. I will not be showing the bottom screen because I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I'm just going to show the gameplay and whatnot. And um, finally got to do it. And <laughs> what's really funny is like, I'm playing this with... Um, which I'm call it um as a NES controller because I figured out that's a good way to play it well that sucked um yeah uh, I think that emulator runs a little slow I'm not sure if it it works better on newer computers as I've said in the past I'm pretty sure I have a Windows 7 laptop and hoping to get uh, Windows 10 at some point. But this goes out to the one person who wanted more of it that I was like, you know what, okay, I'll do that. And I never did it. Uh, his name on Discord at least is literally golden as I've s stated before. But I never forgot because I mean, who can forget something like that? Well, maybe a lot of people, but I'm not one of them. Uh, I never realized how much of the screen that takes up, because it takes up quite a bit. Oh, why did he jump down? So, basically, now I have no excuse to not get this up. And my only excuse can be I didn't like how it came out just like the last time okay come on okay are you mm, are you dead no get up there no don't jump down don't jump down don't jump down okay no 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 you bastard I hate how they do that they follow you everywhere other than where you're... there you go they're probably gonna jump down come over here come okay I hate Lego games sometimes because the AI, uh, if you're not playing with somebody else, is pretty dumb. But this is a, a DS game, as you guys know, because I have, I played it once on my 3DS, and I, with a camera because my internet was out. And once my internet came back, I was gonna upload it and whatnot. And this time, I just have it now, and it's a lot easier to play. And now, because the last time, I finally remembered how to do it. There's this book on the bottom screen, which I, you will hear click when I go to it, and maybe some scrolling and whatnot. I actually need to, hold on, I need to move that. Sometimes you'll hear a click and whatnot because the bottom screen needs to be touched sometimes. Which I'm pretty sure with the DS you don't always need the touch screen because I have played some games where it did not require touch screen, but it, it was rare that you wouldn't get it. You know, I don't know if I said that right. But basically what it is is you are like this. You can't see it, but sometimes you swipe up with it oh you know what I didn't do hold on okay because I do have a microphone and this does allow for microphone support at, at least the emulator that I'm using so I so if I want to like blow into the mic or something to like just see if it works you'll you'll hear and see when that happens of course it needs a microphone hotkey which I had to make like bind something to it but sometimes you will see me save just like ra not exactly randomly because 
there will be a reason for it. Like, if I end the video and then I'm going to be like, ah, uh, you know what, I'll go back to this another time where somebody wants to see me do another one. This one, I will try to make especially long. Just for the sake of how long it's been since literally Golden told me this. I mean, asked me to do this again. Um, in in no way am I gonna do a 100% playthrough of it. I'll just do whatever and hope that I made him happy by playing this, pretty much, or anyone happy for that matter. Oh, I'm supposed to go up here. Let's just hope I make somebody happy with seeing this because I know somebody has had to grow up with this because I grew up with this. And if anyone wants to see me play the first one, I can do that too because it was also a DS game. Oh, I thought I had to push that. Huh. I thought that was gonna break. So many things. I know what's gonna happen here. I knew something was gonna happen with that fan and cutting that rope. But this is, this is, has taken a shorter amount of time than any of the other videos I did because, first of all, I was able to s skip the beginning sequence before, when you press new game, which I don't know if you could do that on the DS, but it's cool that I was able to. And basically down on the bottom of the screen, when you're there, you have to, um, there's this book, but you have to do this whole part first. Oh, look, a page. Now what I do is I click on that, which you can't see the button, but it opened a book. Now I press story, and then I press act one, and then hang your 51, and every time I've played this, I was like, what am I supposed to do? And then the first time I recorded this in a long time, it I like pressed on the book immediately and no, I didn't no, the first time I played it when I, he asked, I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? So I went around everywhere trying to figure out how to get into the levels. And then finally I figured it out and then there was um the second time when I remembered that I need to press the book but then when I pressed the book not it didn't show like story or anything it was just on, on its own I'm, I'm glad the DS normal DS isn't too far from the SNES controls because and Everything that's there's only one thing wrong with it, and it is called uh, what, what is it called? It's called um, no, no, not being able to use the touch screen. But since it's on a computer and not on a Game Boy, for instance, like if you put this on a Game Boy. You can't play it. I'm pretty sure you can't play it. That would be a cool challenge video. Uh, or something. Playing DS games with a... With a whatchamacallit controller. Um, doo -doo -doo. I forgot what it's called. Why can't I remember what it's called? Uh, Genesis... A Sega controller? No! Did this happen? Okay. Please don't tell me I got stuck. Oh wait, I can just do this. Okay, I think I got stuck there once before playing this. Okay, there are shadows. Because I know with um, N64 ROM hacks, especially by Keza Manuar, or however you say his name, I should really search up how to say his name or something. He, um, there's no shadows under it, but then I watched... Uh, the Hobo Bros and, uh, 10 YouTubers versus one speedrunner or two speedrunners. And 
they all had shadows which indicated where they could go which is really weird because I know I played ROM hacks on the uh, for Super Mario 64 DS as well that really actually worked and had a shadow and look way different from the N64 ones because the N64 ones I guess are more detailed and like for instance the um Waluigi 64 ROM hack on the DS it's smaller so it's it's really weird when you see the difference between the three no the D oh my god the DS version and the N64 version and I don't think I'd be able to play it on this on the computer the and like the N64 DS and if I ever wanted to or somebody ever wanted me to of course it would be um, one video when you can't change my mind about that because it would have to take a while but like let's say I forgot all about it oh I was not expecting that I forgot all about how jank the controls were because I didn't have like a joystick or something I didn't know I could get that I didn't even know that was there um because with the DS version I've been playing it on my 3DS so it's easier to control with the d-pad no what is it no the circle pad sorry the circle pad then the d-pad where what am I doing I need to get him up here somehow oh my god I hope you can hear the music right now because it sucks because of the frame rate Okay. So how am I supposed to get him over there? Am I supposed to change his character or something to someone else? Oh, whoa. Wow, this is glitchy as hell. What am I, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I can change. So yeah, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Hold on. Wait, before I do that... Oh, I think I figured it out. Hold on. Unless it's not what I was supposed to do. This probably isn't somewhere that I, I can't get back up there. Great. Okay, anyways. What I, what I was thinking was wherever he is. Change to him. Yes. Okay, that's a good idea. That's my idea for now. Um, I have th the first one, the first Lego Indiana Jones on the PS2, actually, like the physical thing on the PS2. Thing is, I can't record that, which kind of sucks, actually, because I actually, like, that's the game that I'd go to my stepmother's house, and my stepbrother had a PS2, and he had Lego Indiana Jones. So... Like, whenever I was there, me and my brother would play it. Either that or it would be Spider-Man 3 for the PS2 or The Incredible Hulk. Or Batman, which... That's when I learned what R3 was on a controller. Because on that one Batman game that we, we used to play, we got stuck at a point because we didn't know how to crouch but then our stepbrother told us which I'm thankful for because now I know that that's a thing because I didn't realize you could I guess I didn't realize you could press down on either joystick okay oh wait there oh wait what am I doing oh my god been so long since I've played this level I don't even remember anything anymore oh my god I'm a fool which reminds me I felt 
really stupid after playing Conker's High Rule Tale because that that quote unquote difficult as fuck puzzle was not as difficult as it seemed. And I hope you guys checked out that video. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I'd say watch it in like hour increments every day. Maybe. Because it's nine hours long. If you can sit through a video where somebody doesn't talk but you can still see his bored as, as hell face. Because I, I swear, he looked like he was bored as all hell. But he was still playing it with a face cam. Like, I respect him for that, but I mean, like, it, it's kind of funny thinking about that. Okay, come up here. Whatever your name is. What's her name? Irina Spalko. I don't like that last name. I hope it's not actually canon. Like, to Crystal Skull. Which I did watch. I th it's been so long, I think I watched it once. Because I don't think they show it on TV anymore because it got bad reception. Like, like, nobody liked it at all. I mean, if you were to ask me what my favorite movie was or how good I thought a movie was, I, I could not tell you. Like, you, like, I'm not a harsh critic when it comes to certain movies. Like, like, Hubie Halloween came out recently and it was filmed in Salem, Massachusetts. And that, that was a pretty good Adam Sandler movie. Um, but Adam Sandler doesn't really, oh, oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Adam Sandler doesn't have the best reputation in comedy as of, like, a few movies. But then we have all his friends who are willing to act in, like, most of the movie season. Which is really cool, which is... No, I think I found out about... What's his name? Why can't I remember his name? The one with the bulging eyes from Spy Kids. That's how I figured out about him. Steve Buscemi. I found about, out about him, I think, from um, Spy Kids. Whatever one that one was. I think it was the first or second one, because the third one was 3D Game Over, which I didn't really hate, and then there was the fourth one that had Smell Vision, I saw it in theaters. They gave you scratch tickets so you could smell what was happening, and then there was Dog Fart one. Yeah, that, that was weird, it was like 4D and whatnot, but I think think I like that movie but I can't say I like it now because I haven't seen it in a long time so it's not like it's not like I can have an opinion on some of these movies anymore but then there are movies that I love like there's a genre of movie that I love B movies not the B movie but B movies like B-rated movies, like ones that are so hilariously bad that they're good. They're laughably good. Um, for instance, Sharknado or um, what's it called? Uh, Sharktopus versus Whale Wolf. That one, I haven't seen that one yet, but I've seen Sharktopus. I've seen Piranha Conda. There's a one by the same person that made Sharktopus vs. Werewolf. Whale Wolf, not Werewolf. Whale Wolf, sorry. I think it was Sharktopus vs. Whale Wolf. I know there was Whale Wolf in it. I'm skipping the story because I'm not reading any of it. I'm just having a, a conversation. And I don't think I need to do this. I think it's a time thing. I'll go back to that in my own time, probably. I think... I wonder if the time... Like, is this slower? Yeah, this is definitely slower, but it's still a good pace. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I was going to miss. I think this is still a pretty good pace. 
I remember if you stand still, you can get shot sometimes. And then, my favorite part about this level, like at this point, I think is the balancing. Actually, hold on, let me go over here. Okay, I thought there may have been a secret over there. My memory has... Uh... Lied to me. I've been lied to by my own memory. Uh, do I sound boring? Because right now I just realized I might sound boring. Just talking like this. Um... Yeah, I think... I think I may need to rethink the whole YouTube. Because I think I don't get a lot of views because I sound boring. I mean, sometimes I guess I'm not monotone. Like, I guess the videos, the videos that I like are the videos that I play with friends or my brother. Because then there's a lot more, like, talking amongst friends or brother. And, um, more jokes and whatnot. And maybe you'll hear some anger here and there. Like in one of the Payday 2 videos. I, um, you hear me go, I will f- And then it cuts out. Yeah, I got super mad at that point. Like he kept shooting me with the rocket launcher. But I was like, you know what? I'll make this into comedy. Make it so I get- su Because I got super angry. Like legit super angry. But- I decided to roll with that in the video and this video is probably gonna bore a lot of people if you've made it this far so far I congratulate you and I respect your decision to cut uh, get off right now yeah because this is gonna be a long video and the only I have nothing really to commentate over LEGO games, unless it's a glitch, but I already know how this game plays and whatnot, because I've, well, I remember some of it, but I, I can, I can definitely say that I already know uh, what's going to happen some of the times. In what I'm supposed to do because I can't I can't say I haven't played this I I literally cannot say I haven't played this because I recorded a video of me playing some of it and I uploaded that and I can't look back at my old videos at all because I don't like my voice in those like I sound my age like I sound about how old I was around that time, really young, like 10 or something. And it makes me cr it makes me cringe watching those old videos back. Except for Kokoro Chan, which um which is one of my proudest achievements just yelling at somebody who can't hear me. And if I didn't say this before, I get tripped up in that video. Here's the part that I like. I get tripped up in that video because my brother um says, what are you doing? And you can actually hear it a little if you're concentrating enough on it. You can kind of hear him say, what are you doing? That's the only reason I remember that is because I heard it in the video and it was like, oh my God, I never heard that before. Besides the time that I, I guess I recorded it. But it was just a random thing. I, I saw someone named Kokoro-chan. And I, I, I s still love that video. I think afterwards, I, I remember afterwards, I actually private messaged her on the Minecraft server. Because you can send people messages. And then, and then there's one that I think I should delete where I yell 21 because somebody asked me to do it. And I, I think I might delete that one depending upon how many views it has. Because that one actually, thinking about it, makes me cringe. But Kokoro-chan, like whenever I open up my, my channel page, there's always, there's always one thing that really gets to me is... 
because my YouTube channel trailer is just the good stuff from a bunch of different videos. Just like any YouTube trailer would be. But, um, it's, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Kokoro-chan is at the beginning of that, like a clip from it. And anytime I don't pause that video, I like forget that it's there. It always like scares me because it's so loud. Because I didn't have anything to edit it with. The only thing I had was Windows Live Movie Maker. Out of everything I could have had, I had Windows Live Movie Maker. And that's why there are some videos that you can see that glitch at the beginning. It's because I had a problem with Windows Live Movie Maker. Like, some of my older videos were made in Windows Live Movie Maker. But the ones without the glitch at the beginning was before Windows Live Movie Maker actually started glitching my videos. At least from- oh no. I forgot how to do this. Why didn't I read that? I think I go left and right and then left, right. You can hear the page flip. You saw that, but I'm not reading anything out. I may actually do more of this, actually. If I decide I don't want to edit an hour-long video. Because I know I had, like, the last video I uploaded, Conker's Bat, uh, High, no, High Rule Tale was actually, like, almost an hour long, and I only got it down to, like, 52 or something. I think I'll do two levels now, and then if anyone wants more, I will definitely do one more video. Oh wait, what am I supposed to do? Okay, let go. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's what I thought I had to do. So basically, I'll do one more video after this, I guess. And then I'll be done with it. Uh, if you guys want me to, if nobody says anything, um, best way to get to me is my email that's down in the description. Because that one will be specifically for you guys or any advertisers or whatever because I already get enough emails from um, people on my actual email that I think I should have thought about that earlier uh, that's catching fire 3 yt at gmail.com you'll see it in the description um, so yeah that's basically for questions um and whatnot whatever you want to say to me if there's something you want to say or send to me through email that's the place to do it um but i know i haven't changed any of my old um descriptions so i guess you can really use either one but i highly recommend using the catching fire 3 one because that one this is the one that I have set for nothing. Like, I have nothing set for it, pretty much. Okay, so I can't get that. I was hoping to get that, maybe. Uh, but either one will do, as long as you put, like, not your name, but... Um that you're a fan and not somebody trying to make a brand deal with me which if you are a brand right now and you're watching this video um feel free to use uh the email in the description compared to my other one that i have had in descriptions before they probably never got this far, but if you got this far and you are a brand, hi. How are you? Make sure you know who you're talking to, because if you're a fitness wear or whatever, uh, I'm probably not going to get back to you. Because I am a fat man 
who is not technically considered a model in a lot of places. Oh, I thought I m somehow m made it. Oh God, can't I get hit? Doesn't it? Does it not matter if I get hit? Oh no, it's oh with the delay. Like I feel like I have to press down on this really hard, and I don't. Oh, ow, that must have hurt. I think, I think the good thing about playing Lego games is that if you've never seen the movie, you get the gist of the movie just with humor and whatnot. Because I know, I haven't seen Star Wars, but I've played uh, a few different Lego games, and and I've seen a lot of memes. But that that's um. That's not the only reason I know a lot about the movie, though. Oh, wow, I did that, too. Usually, I don't get that. Because I always get hit, but that doesn't really ma matter now, does it? I think I talk too much. Do, do you guys think I talk too much? Sometimes I think I talk too little, but... Oh, oh no, I won't do that. Unless that's what I have to do. No, it's too slow. I better not have to do that because what that is, is you have to like head, you know, like Mario stomp, uh, hedge, no, not hedgehogs, groundhogs or moles or whatever. Like I, I feel the pain of the people. Okay. Hold on. What? Okay. I got 25 now, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I don't know how I got that one because that one was already fully in the hole. Come on. I hope this doesn't make the... Is it just... Is the game just... Okay, I'll stop at 30. Yay. Oh, I knew it. I knew I had to do that one. Okay, so I was right in doing that. Because... That's how you... Okay. I knew that if I did do that, um, that, and they didn't come over here, that something was gonna happen after I did that. But I wasn't sure if it was supposed to come out. Isn't there a pedal in a tractor? So they just let a running engine go on it and it just made the tires go? Oh yeah, I forgot about the sheep. Because I remember... Oh my god, they look... So weird now. Because I think... I think I'm used... I'm, I'm not used to this. Because I haven't played this bef in a long time. <laughs> I don't know if he went into the ground. But that would be funny if he did. Yay, now I get a gold hat. Gold fedora? I don't know what that is. Is that a fedora? It must be a fedora. It looks almost the same as his hat. I don't understand the flying thing. Wait, did they always fly out of the screen in Lego games? I don't remember now. God damn it. Um. Have you guys ever had to deal with RBF or resting bitch face? Because I definitely have because I get it quite a bit. Like, you can see me and it'll look like I'm angry. Other times, like, if my eyebrows aren't down a little bit, it'll look like I'm sad. But, <laughs> it's a pain in the ass to have something like that. Because then people ask you, oh, are you okay? And then I have to go, are you, uh, I like, they like come out of nowhere, are you, are you upset or whatever? And then I'll be like, well, I don't know. No, I'm fine. Why? Like, every time. Okay, I don't see the point in having him go up here if he was already up here. I am... Um, oh, I think I see now. 
Now I have him get up. No, I, okay, now I see. But like, if, he, it, I, I forgot, I don't think I finished my thought earlier. With um movies, if I've only played the Lego version and never actually seen the movie, they have all the same songs from the movie. For instance, Indiana Jones, when you're in a boss fight or something, they have the same music for whenever Indiana Jones is in a fight with somebody or whatever. So I knew without looking at the TV that Indiana Jones was on. Oh wait, I can't do that yet. Yeah, see, it goes right into the drain. Yes, I know this. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, I have to push this in here. Oh no, I think I- oh no. Oh, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to get back up there. I think I remember something that I really don't like about this. The time one. The timed part of this level. Because I think... Basically... It... If you've played Call of Duty... Um... This is basically Nuketown. Which I guess is like a like um a nuclear test site with all these dummy people to see what would happen and whatnot and I'm actually not sure if you could survive a nuke in a fridge I don't think anybody's ever actually tested it but if you could those are some strong ass fridges fridge fridge Fr refrigerators I'll just say refrigerators because it, imagine they nuclear tested the like refrigerators that would be some like insane shit like like that would be dumb there is nowhere big enough unless it's an already nuked area like Nagasaki or Hiroshima like there is no reason to test a refrigerator through a nuke I think the best thing you can do without actually using a nuclear explosion is get something that's about as hot as a nuclear explosion, hook it up to something so you can start it up like some fire thing, and then back up and just full on melt the or try to melt the refrigerator. And even if it doesn't survive the m melting, um, get another refrigerator, you know, and like, um, do a launch test. Like, let's say you threw something and it broke, like something glass or whatever. It broke, okay. You can't throw it that hard or that far without it breaking. So let's say you threw a refrigerator. How far of a distance can it go without getting damaged by the ground and crushing Indiana Jones? And you have to take into account his weight as well. So Indiana Jones, canonically, I don't know how much he weighs, but for the sake of the thing just say um let's say he weighed as much as Harrison Ford because in fact Harrison Ford played Indiana Jones you put in as much uh, meat that that um Indiana Jones would weigh or Harrison Ford in this case okay let's just pause real quick over his weight. His weight, as I stated in like a little text thing, in real life is 183 pounds or 83 kilograms. That's him, himself, Harrison Ford. But in Riddles of the Lost Ark, he is 175 pounds. In Temple of Doom, he's 190 pounds. In Last Crusade, he's 180 to 185 pounds and around 215 pounds in Crystal Skull. 
So do with that information as you will, since it was the Crystal Skull that he was in the refrigerator. So take into account that, um, 215 pounds. Thank you, and continue. And put it into the fridge. So, uh, make it, like, so it would be human temperature, you know? And catapult it. Just straight up launch it. Definitely not with a cannon, because then it would probably explode. But you definitely want to at least test the resistant meat. Or, I know this is a bad idea. Do not get a corpse. Do not try this unless you're a professional. If you are a scientist, feel free to use it. I'm pretty sure you're not a scientist, but if somebody who's not a scientist cares enough about this, please share this part with the world. Because I really want to see this in action. So basically what you do is you get a refrigerator of meat and just put as much meat that weighs about the same amount as uh, Harrison Ford when he was younger. If you don't have that, try him now. Because if you don't have his weight from back when he was younger, then there's just no point in trying to find it unless it is marked down somewhere, you know? Which I don't doubt that it is marked somewhere. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. I don't doubt that it's marked somewhere at all. Because there must be... Oh, there must be a book or something. Because I think I have a Harrison Ford book. That could say how much he weighed when he was younger. But I, I really don't know. So basically you do that. And then do a test catapult first. Like, because you need to get the velocity and the strength and the distance. So let's say, let's say that the, um, which I'm got, what is it called? The, um, the refrigerator would be able to withstand all that heat of the, um, the nuclear explosion. Okay, just to pause the video again, I want to state how hot a nuclear explosion is, which I'm pretty sure we can't physically actually test that, yeah, but it's about 100 million degrees Celsius and between 50 and 150 million degrees Fahrenheit. I also want to know, how do you measure that when you can't even get that close. Like, how are you supposed to replicate that without killing somebody? Just to put a thought in your heads. Uh, which I highly doubt. But let's say it did. And Indiana Jones was flung that hard. We need... We even need something that measures how, like, much pain the person would be in or how like banged up they would be or if they would even still be alive at that point which I highly doubt they'd be alive at that point because if the refrigerator didn't melt it either got melted shut or even the c impact on the ground would not save that refrigerator at all it would totally get crushed and Indiana Jones would be canned human meat at that point. He would be in a tin can. So what you want to do is, even if you don't throw it, maybe you do the velocity in w differently. Like, you do that at a different time. Like, let's say you measure an, an explosion and how far it throws an object, which can be pretty far and I don't think we ever got that manhole cover back. There was a manhole cover, fun fact, that actually uh, got thrown up into space by an explosion down in the sewers because there was a gas leak or something like that. But back to what I was saying. So basically, the manhole survived that. So how far up would the refrigerator go if it somehow survives, uh, survived the heat? Like, honestly... If it 
went up into space. I wouldn't doubt that. But depending upon where you locate it, like let's say it gets blown sideways like he was. I'm pretty sure he was blown sideways, like up and sideways. So what you want to do is calculate the height and drop it from about that high. Drop the refrigerator with all the meat inside because you need the weight to see if he would have fallen out of that or if he would have weighed it down so much that the velocity of the fall would just screw him over and kill him instantly because I'm thinking that's what would happen is he'd definitely die um and I want to know this for different weights like how would you survive from different heights because I know that someone or maybe like two people maybe maybe just one has in fact lived it like actually survived going down um Niagara Falls or, or even just a waterfall in a barrel if they can do that I'm pretty sure there must be some weight limit to that like if you're let's say 600 pounds you'll die if you're 200 pounds maybe a few scratches if you're 100 pounds um maybe not so much damage you know something like that just like estimating like the body weight and the impact all that it all comes into different things i am in no way educated in in this way and nor am i a professional in this so i don't exactly know how the math would work but i know there must be somebody out there that knows the math So, if you can take all of this one conversation, just, just probably clip it, and if you know somebody who is a scientist, feel free to send this to them, or if you know a scientist's email, I, or even if you know the Mythbusters, then, like, I would love to see them at least do one more video on, like, even on YouTube. Just seeing how hot it it would be to take a uh, unconnected refrigerator to mount. And then having just seeing if Indiana Jones would die, which I'm pretty sure he would. I know again with the pause, but basically what I wanted to say that I didn't state because this is during editing and whatnot, I wanted to say that if you do have a family member or you know somebody that can give me all the calculations and maybe dumb it down with a little bit of smart here and there, you know what I mean, um, give them my email and uh, I have plenty of questions for them. But. There's no really saying because there are still a lot of things that people haven't done with movies that are so unrealistic. Like, I think the Mythbusters have tried to see if you could survive in a refrigerator from a high height, like Indiana Jones. Like Indiana Jones, but I'm almost positive that that is not the case. Like, I don't care how high, how high they did it, you need to go high, increasingly higher. Because there's no way that he didn't get launched more than, let's say, how big is the, what you want to take into account is how high the Earth's atmosphere goes. So I want to say, like, 50 miles up in the air maybe or whatever um because i almost said 200 but that wouldn't work very well because i think that's pretty big but depending upon how high the atmosphere is he could probably be launched up out of the atmosphere for all we know 
Sorry for the abrupt pause once again, but in one of the videos I linked down in the, the description, two people added that in the last crusade, Indiana Jones did in fact drink from the Holy Grail, making him essentially immortal. And the other one added that he also drank the blood of Kali, which I think was a god, wasn't it? I don't know, maybe you can add on to that. Maybe he'd get a few cuts, maybe bruises and whatnot. But we don't want to cause an explosion big enough to do that. So, if anyone's interested in telling somebody that or bringing it up to, like, let's say you're in college, a professor. Like, a, if you. you you're studying science and your professor knows more about this stuff I'd love for you got this for somebody to email me back or even have the professor email me back because I don't care I'm not gonna save the email I'm not gonna dox them or anything I'm not gonna say this is this person's professor's email or you know I'm not gonna do that I'm rather s like talk privately and then probably do a video on it but I won't like show anyone's identity unless they consent to it so I will show like a graph if they can do a graph and the math and maybe explain the math to me because I'm not you wouldn't you couldn't call me a college student even if you wanted to I'm not in college I'm definitely not going to be studying science. I mean, there's nothing wrong with studying science. I mean, a lot of people who studied science is actually not only really smart, but actually, like, can and probably will change the world. For better or for worse. Oh my god. This, this isn't nerve-wracking because I'm talking and I know basically what to do. I just have to literally break everything until I find all the boxes. But I would love to see... I'll probably... If I find a Mythbusters video, the link will be down in the description. And then, um... On it, because I'm pretty sure they did do a video like that. Would you survive from so-and-so height in a refrigerator? But I'm pretty sure... They didn't do it high enough. Okay, where's that last box? Like, I'm pretty sure they didn't do it from a high enough height because I am, like, super positive that you need to go higher because that is very, very powerful explosion. Come on. Now I'm getting nervous because I'm at it's seven seconds now. Basically what this is, is just building the refrigerator. No! Okay, I did it. I did it in time, I think. Okay. So yeah, now that it's been almost an hour, I think I'm done. If you want to see me do more of this, then feel free to either comment or email me. Subscribe if you're new and may the odds be ever in your favor. Also, tell me what else you might want me to do.